I miss Outer Wilds. I miss it. The first playthrough of a game is usually the best one, right? It has all of that novelty and mystery that you're looking for in a game. But there's still some incentive to come back. Sure, on my next playthrough, I'm gonna know what happens in the story, and I'll know exactly where to go and what to do at all times, but the game mechanics alone can give me enough of a reason to return. Fighting the bosses, rewatching the cutscenes, trying to beat the game faster than you did before, even the movement mechanics themselves, they can all incentivize you to come back and play the game again. But Outer Wilds is not like other games. It doesn't have levels, or bosses, or combat, or enemies, or any of that. The only incentive to play the game is learning about the mysteries of the world that you find yourself in. So what do you do when the only major driving force to your progression in a game is the knowledge that you learned along the way? When the only thing that actually made you want to play in the first place was the mysteries that were yet to be uncovered? How do you replay something like that without it just being kind of boring? Because I feel like I can't go back. It feels like this game is gone from my life forever. It's like mourning the loss of a beloved family pet or something. It's awful. And other genres of game can have similar issues. Once you know how to beat every puzzle in Portal, subsequent playthroughs can be a lot less exciting for a lot of players. But Portal at least has distinct individual levels and cool source movement mechanics. So maybe replay value can come from speedrunning each individual level, or maybe the whole game. But Outer Wilds doesn't really even have that. Yeah, there's speedruns, but the categories can be a bit esoteric. Because other than the endings, there's not really any concrete markers of progression throughout the game. Very few games realistically suffer from this issue like Outer Wilds does. But when they do, it really hurts. Because I love Outer Wilds, I've never played anything like it. Yet I have no real reason to go back. I know everything there is to know. I turned over every rock in the entire solar system once already. And because of the nature of the game, I just have no reason to go back and do it again. I've learned everything there is to learn. All I can really do is set myself some goals, like maybe I want to unlock all the achievements on Steam, or maybe I want to land on some precarious spot on a certain planet or something. But outside of these goals that I'm setting myself on the fly, the game boasts no real replay value whatsoever. And you know what? This isn't even a criticism. Outer Wilds shouldn't have replay value. The game having no replay value is a result of the knowledge-based progression system that the game has. The only incentive to play is learning, and the only marker of your progression is what you have or have not already learned so far. And this is what made Outer Wilds so good. So giving Outer Wilds more replay value would in turn be taking away what made the game so magical in the first place, and I don't want that. There are other examples of a similar thing out there. Toki Tori 2 is a game that springs to mind. It's a metroidvania where instead of collecting a power-up that allows you to go to another part of the map, you instead learn how the mechanics of the game work to unlock new areas instead. Knowing how the creatures work and how they react to you is what allows you access to new areas, so technically you can go anywhere at any point. You just don't yet have the knowledge to do so. And this again creates a fun game that has almost no replay value whatsoever. But it's not necessarily a bad thing that the game has no replay value, is it? It doesn't necessarily mean that the game has done something wrong or that the game needs to change. It just means that the vision that the developers had for the game unfortunately results in subsequent playthroughs being a bit boring. So unless I'm coming back to do some sightseeing or to walk down memory lane, I will probably never play Outer Wilds ever again. I'll just live vicariously through watching other people play it and endlessly telling my friends to play it so that they can experience it too. I guess what I'm trying to say is I love Outer Wilds, and I miss it.